today we'll talk about chapter 4th of bhagavad gita gyan karm sanyas yoga so the three aspects that are covered in this uh, chapter first is it is starts with lord krishna telling arjuna that i am the one who imparted this wisdom many years back imam vyaswati yogam pokto anam aham vyam tesman man ve prahmanu itva kave bhavi so i instructed it many many years back to raja vyaswan and then it went through the generations and over the time the knowledge has evaporated and now i am telling the same knowledge to you and he says yada yada hi dharmasya glani bhavati bharata abhyutthanam adharmasya dadatmanam sujamam paitrana sadhana vinashaya tad dosh patam dharma sansthapana arjuna ay sambhavami ube i keep coming whenever the sins are higher to set up things in order to protect protect the right ones and to annihilate the wrong ones and beautiful words here is we draga bhaya kroda man maya upashita baho gyana tapasa puta mad bhava magata so the wisdom is that away from passion anger fear taking the shelter of lord and with wisdom following the path of wisdom many have liberated themselves in this very life so when we talk about liberation it is one major act is what is our karma there is karma there is vid karma there is our karma vid karma is easier prohibited karma karma is when you are in action producing some value intrinsic value a karma is when you are thinking that you are not working but you are actually working because there is no moment in life when you are not working pashyasham nastranjigan asangachan swapashvan pral prandesya dangan unmeshan nimeshan ve indriyane inde arthesh vartanta iti dharayan which means that senses are always working on sense objects so that way our senses keep working round the clock there is no moment we are without action and when we talk about actions which are very pure action prashant atma vigat brahmachari varesha so very calm mind following the life of non possessiveness you live a life which is gat sanga samukta sa gyane avasthita chetas totally free of attachment working only for sacrifice that is what is considered as karma nirashiriyat chittatma tattu sarva prayage shairam kevalam karmam purva purva napnoti kilmesham without any desire when you are working just to maintain the body you do not accumulate sins and when we talk about karma it is the element of sacrifice is higher with those who are on path of liberating themselves doing work for sacrifice now the chapter 4 talks about many forms of sacrifice says brahmaartam bhavi brahmaagno brahmanaavata brahme eva gantam bharma kram karma samadina and then dravya gata poyaga yoga gyas tatha pare swadhyaya gyane gata yatah sanshita vrata some perform materialistic sacrifice 
द्रव्य गया तपो यज्ञ सम सो योग यज्ञ सम परफॉर्म द यज्ञ इन फॉर्म ऑफ अष्टांग योगा यम नियम आसन प्राणायाम प्रत्याध्यान ध्यान समाज स्वाध्याय ज्ञान यज्ञ संचित होता सम पीपल परफॉर्म स्वाध्याय लर्न अबाउट योर सेल्फ लर्न अबाउट स्वाध्याय वॉट मेक्स मी हैप्पी वॉट लिबरेट्स मी की वर्किंग ऑन दो सम परफॉर्म योग ऑफ एक्शन नॉलेज ज्ञान यज्ञ विच इज आई एम जस्ट टेम्प्ररी आई एम लिविंग दिस टेम्प्ररी लाइफ एंड सम परफॉर्म अदर काइंड ऑफ स्पेशल फास्टिंग और रिनंसिएशन राइट abdicating from many things right so this is different form of sacrifices and then one beautiful verse is shreyam the vimata ke gyan yagya parantu the sarva karma khilam gyane parismatate so between the dravya gyan and the sacrifice which is in form of your values you don't sacrifice uh, materialistic aspects of life be it money be it other stuff you think you are sacrificing or further but when you talk about sacrificing knowledge it is sacrificing your own urges which is fear anger and desires so those are the ones which we talk about the aspects of life when we renounce these when we sacrifice these then automatically you don't have to wait for liberation in next life you are liberated right now in this very life that is the objective of renunciation to enjoy this life flying like a free bird leaving no trace behind so that is what definition of sanyas is or sacrifices is